on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Tiger News Network, episode number two. Today we're joined with Dalton Jackson, who's making his first ever Tiger News Network appearance, and Luke Henson. Luke, take it away with some Glenwood, Oak, and Stanton news. Uh, there's a blood drive coming up on November 3rd. If you're interested in donating blood, please contact senior Avery Goslin about that. Uh, we are also halfway through the first nine weeks, and you still have time to get your grades up before the nine weeks ends on October 14th. Remember to dress nicely for school picture day on October 10th, and we'd like to give a special birthday shout out to Hector Brady, Eli Conkle, Michael Mills, and Braley Wines, whose birthdays occur over the next week. For staying in Oak News, the bookmobile will be at our school on September 28th. Now back to Dylan Shear for World News. On September 8, 2022, Queen Elizabeth II, the UK's longest reigning monarch, passed away aged 96. She passed away peacefully on Thursday afternoon and was in reign for 70 years. Back to Luke, talking about Captain the Gold Retriever today. Uh, Captain the Golden Retriever is a feel-good story about a golden retriever who travels all the way from Canada interstate all the way to Los Angeles, California to meet his owner that he is set to meet for life. The video on TikTok has been viewed over 2 million times and liked over 300,000 times. Now, back to Dylan talking about politics. Let's talk about the day's politics. A federal judge in Florida has dismissed former President Donald Trump's racketeering lawsuit against Hillary Clinton and other perceived political enemies such as former FBI Director James Comey and Representative Adam Schiff, blasting it as a 200-page political manifesto outlining his grievances against those that have opposed him. Now, on to sports with Dalton Jackson. Dalton, take it away. On Saturday, September 10th, Marshall University beat the Notre Dame Titans in a 26-21 victory. This weekend on Saturday, September 17th, Marshall University faces Bowling Green at 5 p.m. Speaking of victories, the Ohio State Buckeyes won against Arkansas State University on Saturday, September 10th with a 45-12 win. The Buckeyes play against Toledo on Saturday, September 17th with kickoff beginning at 7 p.m. Unfortunately, the Cincinnati Bengals lost on Sunday to the Steelers in a 23-20 upset. However, the Bengals hope to get their revenge when they face the Dallas Cowboys this Sunday, September 17th at 4.25 p.m. In local sports news, the Glenwood High School soccer team is set to play at home against the Minford Falcons on Saturday, September 17th at 6 p.m. The soccer team also plays against the Valley Indians at home on Tuesday, September 20th at 6 p.m. Furthermore, the Glenwood High School volleyball team also plays in the Kissick Classic at Manchester at 10 a.m. Thanks, Dalton. For the coming week, the weather looks primarily sunny in the low 80s. A possible thunderstorm on Monday and cloudy on Tuesday and Wednesday. On to Dylan Shearer with college information. Let's talk about some college news. On September 23rd, Ohio State University will be visiting Portsmouth High School at 9.30 a.m. The meeting will be held on the second floor multi-purpose meeting room. In other news, on Monday, September 19th, a person from the Soda County Vocational School will visit with GHS seniors for those who are interested in their adult ed programs at 11.15 a.m. On to Luke with some interesting Disney controversy. Disney's Little Mermaid controversy caused outrage by Halle Bailey's casting as Ariel. Many Disney fans took to Twitter to express their disappointment and even threatened to boycott the film. As these critics saw it, Disney has tainted the loyal fans' childhood memories. Now, to Dylan with this week's brain teaser. Ladies and gentlemen, before we sign off here, we do have a brain teaser for you guys. This week's brain teaser is, what type of cheese is made backwards? Give the correct answer to Miss Claxon and win a tiger card. Thank you for watching, Tigers. Have a great weekend. Be sure to tune in next week for more up-to-date information from your TNN Newscast. And don't forget, as Mr. Howard would say, stay classy, Tigers.